What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today, check it out. We have the 50 caliber Hudson pile driver in our midst. And uh, I am going to be honest, I, I'm ready. <laughs> I want to get out and shoot this puppy and uh, see what she can do. Um, 300 bar fill um this looks like a 480 bottle um be nice to put a 580 bottle on here and see if you can squeeze a few more shots um this thing is an absolute i mean just beast the, even the the cocking mechanism itself i mean look how long this handle is so that you have the leverage to pull that hammer back and uh you know, it, it is just absolutely just a beast. Uh, it does decock, uh, thank God. Um, one, the, the, the only real complaint that I've had from looking over this gun, uh, which I did uh, put my UTG bipod on it, I did top it with the MTC optics, uh, is the fact that in order to fill the gun, you have to cock the gun. So by cocking this, you uncover this um, fill port up front here. Now, I don't know how, um, but the thing about this cover is, is I want to be able to tether the gun. And I don't know if so you can cock it and then when you move the bolt back forward it leaves this port open but when you fire the gun the port comes closed again but i'd like to be able to tether the gun i just don't want to break the gun if i have my fill probe in there i don't know i'm gonna to have to do a little bit of research and see if you know if i can leave that tether in there because otherwise uh, you're going to get three to five shots on a 3,000 fill um, or a 300 bar fill. Um, and even having a 100 cubic foot tank, you know, you're going to go through a lot of air to shoot, you know, 15, 20 rounds. And, uh, you know, I like to, um, you know, go out there and shoot quite a bit. Uh, I do have some 388 grain um, Nielsen 50 caliber slugs. Um, they're actually 510, but just to give you an idea, this is a 350 grain um, 457. Just look at the difference in the size of these things. I mean, those things, this thing is a beast. Um, people ask me a lot of times, you know, why did you get the 457 Texan and not, you know, a 50 caliber Texan? And really it boils down to the available ammo for 50 cal. Um, more people are starting to make more and more 50 caliber ammo. Thank you. Uh, especially thanks to Lucky 7 Air Ammo. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Lucky 7 Air Ammo, uh, please do so. He's got some great slugs that are available. Um, and uh, he's even got quite a few different 50 cals. But for the majority of us, um, you know, there, there's just so much more available in 457 than there is in 50 cal but man what a chunk of nielsen lead that thing is right there so i am totally stoked to get this thing out do some 50 yard shooting maybe some 100 yard shooting um i anticipate loads of noise out of this thing um you know no moderator um you know i'm not gonna put a moderator on it <laughs> I want all the guys at the sportsman's club to go, what the frick? And be like, yeah, 50 caliber air gun. So there it is, the Hudson pile driver in 50 caliber, uh, 300 bar fell and, uh, you know, made in Turkey. Uh, Hudson USA is out of uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. 
Um, but uh, with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. This is the Hudson Pile Driver in 50 caliber. Be good to each other and God bless.